Well, hello fellow Velvet Underground Collectors, this is Tex Dixie Gas, and today I want to show you some of my hand builds and uh, we might have to cut it into two pieces because I actually found more than I thought, but by far not all of them. And uh, if you really love the Velvet Underground and collect the Velvet Underground, most of us will end up having... Um, you know, to buy more than a regular albums and you try to get the seven inches and you try to get the bootlegs and you try to get the test pressings and the acetates. And the further and deeper you get into this crap, the more expensive it gets. And it's the same about the paper. Um, unfortunately, when you start in your hobby, you always go like, I don't need that paper or you get like one or two posters because they are available kind of uh, frequently and the later it gets, the more expensive the paper item gets. And is it worth your time? Yes, it is. It's very rewarding, but you have to be up on your toes because there's a lot of people like that Alfredo guy or that Gordon Lott guy or that Mark guy or that Steve guy. They all try to get those posters before you get them, especially if there's something that's rare. So considering I'm a guy sitting somewhere in Germany and living off a record store, I'm doing pretty good because I've been up on this for uh, 30 years now, but just the last 10 years I really really got into the paper and started going like okay I have to pay more than 50 bucks for it and you will have to a lot of times so let's no particular order because I'm not an organized guy that's one of my downfalls probably so let's just start you know like this to me is beautiful to have but it's you know like the Velvet Underground are in there somewhere this is the same with this one La Cave of course fantastic but that's the least kind of desirable, uh, um, um, what you call it, hand bill. But, uh, you know, you take what you can get. This one here, I mean, this is folded like eight times. But, you know, this is so beautiful because this, this looks like a hand-drawn thing. And the Velvet Underground down here, you can see them. And this is more to my liking. There's more art. It's not just like a boxing style. Uh, this is what I'm after, really. It's like, even so this is late in the game, it's, this is fairly cheap, actually, these days. When I got it, I think I paid more than the last couple I saw on the internet. Uh, you know, the Velvet Underground are prominent considering... Uh, or this one here. I really like this one. And um, look at this. This one doesn't turn up too often. I, don't, I have no idea of value. I know this one's gone up in price. This is like uh, uh, for another concert. The the, the like the, the what was it? The a second shorter printed version of the Butterfield Blues Band the Sly and Family Stone concert. One of the the neon rows. I have that. I have that somewhere too, but I couldn't find that today. And now the the hot stuff, uh, in my opinion, is this kind of stuff. This is really, really, really nice. You know, this obviously Velvet Underground and uh, Andy Warhol and uh, the Mothers. And this this appeared in like this, like a color version and a pink version. And uh, I'm missing some of my things. Ah, oh, these these have some in the background. See, I didn't put this in. This one here. This is. And this is actually psychedelic, but it's so weird. And uh, the first stuff I got when I was just a young collector were these. These used to be like $10 a piece, and the poster used to be like $50, and there's a double folder of this somewhere. Let me go check into my stuff. And um, this already been running three minutes. Let's cut this into two parts, because this is going to be such a hell to upload. So put a like on my YouTube, uh, like Dixie Gas on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll see you in a minute for part two.